What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. And today I'm gonna to show you how to take your M.2 drive or any other uh, drive, USB drive, SSD, or anything uh, storage related and do a fresh, clean, 100% wipe on them um, if they won't let you format it or if it's not showing up correctly. Um, a lot of times whenever you flash like Hive on a USB drive and then you go try to reflash it, it'll give you errors. This will fix all that and it'll get it ready to be reinitialized and then uh, reformatted. So let's jump on over here and show you what we're working on. All right, so I bought one of these little hubs uh, for putting M.2 drives in uh, because I get these from a recycler and I just make sure that each one of them is freshly clean and wiped and ready to go for the customers. Um, I plug this one in and you can see this one comes up that is BitLocker. Uh, it has a BitLocker on it, so it's locked down. You can't do anything with it. And a lot of people would be like, oh, this drive is no good. Absolutely not. What you're gonna wanna do is go down here, type in CMD for command prompt, right click, run as administrator, yes. And then you're gonna wanna type in D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T for disk part. This is a very powerful software, so be very careful with it. Now, see, we're in Microsoft Disk Part version 10, blah, 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 blah. And now you're going to type in list space D-I-S-K. So list disk. And that's going to show you the disk drives that are in there. This will show you everything, including your actual drive you're running on. So just note that uh, if I selected zero and wiped it, that would be my os drive and it will ruin your operating system so be very careful an easy way to find out what drive you just inserted is you do list disk and then you can unplug the drive and then go back up here and you can do list disk again and then see what falls off see that drive fell off so now we can insert this drive back in wait for it to initialize or to boot up and list disk again and then it pops back up so it's a two terabyte drive right there uh but this one has bit locker on it yep it actually says this is bit locker protected and a lot of people are like oh that's no good well now you need to type in select s-e-l-e-c-t disk one because see that's a disk one right there and now it'll say disk one is selected uh, make sure you do not select your operating syst system drive. Like I said earlier, if you clean that drive, it will ruin your operating system. So now we're going to type in clean and hit enter and give it a second. And disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. Well, now if you go to like my computer or this PC, it doesn't show up anymore. So an easy way to get it initialized is just type in format and create and format hard hard disk partitions open up this utility and then it'll be like oh this drive is not initialized if this box does not pop up for example it'll look like this it'll be black and then this drive will have that little red next to it all you do is right click on that hit initialize that box will pop up and i just leave it on the gpt you can switch it over to master boot record but uh, gpt guid partition table always seems to be the default uh, hit okay and then now you're going to right click on this black new simple volume and i just go through and do a quick format and let it uh format that so give it a second this is a two terabyte drive so it will take a take a moment but as soon as that's done then it will populate over on my computer we're all doing this this right here in front of you so there it is now we have a new volume 1.86 terabytes and it's ready to go and previously people would have gotten rid of this drive thinking that with BitLocker or potentially something else uh, being on it that they couldn't do a, a traditional format because if you went in here and tried to format that drive through the disk management utility it would not have let you so uh, hopefully that helps you this can be used on uh, traditional SSD drives, USB drives, basically any storage media inside of your computer. So just be careful and uh, happy hunting. Also comment down below and let me know um, other little tips and tricks that you guys have figured out with disk part. It's a really powerful software that's been around for a really long time. Um, but yeah, y'all have a good one. And I'll see you on the flip side. Adios.
by the way. If you need some NVMe drives, go to bc-pc.com. My link is down below in the description. I can hook you up.